Hey guys, welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 things that I would take with me on my first airsoft game. And I'm just going to caveat this quickly, we're not going to include a gun. So we're talking about if you've basically just booked a rental package and you're going to go along for the first game, what can you do in advance, what things can you prepare and what should you really have in your bag uh, to take along with you. So let's get started. Number one. I would, uh, I would still buy yourself some good quality eye protection. Um, what you get with a rental package is going to look something like this. Um, you can see how much it distorts my vision. It works both ways. So buying yourself a decent set of ballistic glasses or ballistic goggles is going to be my first recommendation for a great first day. Secondly, some face protection. So we've got two kinds here. We've got some with uh, full mesh and we've got some with a part mesh. This is more comfortable. It allows you to aim down your sights better and that'll give you a better experience. Not being able to see down the sights of your gun can be really frustrating and pushing your face into it. That's not something that you want to experience. So my number two goes to face protection. Number three, a good set of boots. The majority of injuries that happen in airsoft are twisted ankles. That's the most common, a bit like football in that respect. Um, the most likely injury on the, on the battlefield is going to be a twisted ankle, a sprain, or a cut or a bruise. So you can mitigate this yourself by having a decent sturdy pair of boots, and you'll find it on pretty much every airsofter's top 10 list of recommendations of things to have. A good, stoddy, a good <laughs> sturdy pair of ankle boots is a must. Coming in at number four slot, gloves. So getting shot on the hands, getting shot on the knuckles hurts. You'll find that a lot of the time, although this gun is empty and it's clear, nothing in it, and there's no battery in it, you may find yourself holding your gun like this. These knuckles are a prime target to get shot. Getting shot just a few times on the knuckles really does start to hurt. So a good pair of gloves. And I say a good pair of gloves. Here's a set of Mechanics Fast Fits. They're about £20. I've had them for maybe a year or so. Um, this one I use for loading shotguns, so I actually cut some of the fingers off it. Doesn't matter, just something to take the sting out of that BB when it impacts your knuckle. Okay, number five, some comfortable baggy clothes. So you don't want to wear uh, lots of skin tight things. Um, if a BB comes and impacts me, for example, here, um, if I pull this tight, that's really going to hurt. If it kind of catches on a ruck of my clothing I may not even feel it so that's a massive difference that you're going to find um, and that's something that you should consider so wear something comfortable and if you want it to hurt less um, wear something baggy but also be aware that if you're going to wear baggy clothes um, you may not it may be harder to tell when you've been hit so just be more aware of your surroundings number six water and snacks um, being dehydrated on the field is something that happens to a lot of people um, I always, in my uh, first aid kit, I always have some rehydration pouches um, because and because a lot of the time people need them. Um, it's the most common, the common most common thing probably on the field is for people to get exhausted. You're carrying quite a heavy gun all day, so just make sure that you stay hydrated throughout the day and eat snacks. Um, normally, if you're going to a skirmish, there's going to be a break halfway throughout the day for lunch, so it will give you a chance to uh, get off your feet and uh, and sit down for a little bit. Okay, money is number seven. Uh, you're going to need about £50 for the day, um, which is basically I'm factoring in the cost of your uh, rental package and also your lunch. So we're saying about £45 for a rental, at least there, <laughs> about £45 for a rental and about five quid for your lunch. Obviously, your transport there and back is just an additional cost, but don't forget you might need to factor that in. Number eight on the list probably shouldn't be eight, um, spare set of clothes. Whether you're going indoors or outdoors, you're gonna get sweaty, you're gonna get dirty, you're gonna get messy, you're gonna get mucky. Um, especially if it's not your car that you're driving home in, be respectful of the driver and uh, pack a spare set of clothes. So, along with that spare set of clothes, I have come back from games absolutely drenched. So have a spare bag to put all of your wet clothes and dirty clothes and dirty boots in. So 
when I say have a spare set of clothes, a spare pair of shoes, just some trainers, some traveling shoes is a good idea. That way you can get all of your filthy kit, chuck it into a bin liner, put it in the boot of your car, or if you're on, on transport, it's just gonna seal it up and it's just gonna make it a little bit um, a little bit easier. And especially if it's, like I said, if it's not your car that you're traveling in, try and be respectful because you want them to invite you back to the next game, right? So just think about that. The last thing I can say is, this should be the most obvious one as well, just bring the right attitude. Um, you're already interested in Airsoft, you're watching this video, and if you've made it this far, well done, thank you very much. Um, maybe consider subscribing, there's gonna be more videos, and my subscribers are awesome, so thank you to all you guys. Um, so yeah, bring the right attitude. Know that you're gonna get shot. Um, don't be upset about it, that's what we all do. That's that's the game. So. Yeah, I said it in my last video, but like, welcome to the sport. This is so, it's gonna be so much fun. And if this is like your first steps into airsoft, there is so much that you're gonna love about this sport. And a hat, bring a hat. Something to uh, cover your head, preferably your ears. Getting hit on the ear really hurts. Forgot it, out of my top 10. That's my 11. 